Hey, everybody. Can you hear me? Everything look okay? Um, Louise is going to be here in just a second. She's running behind, and I wanted to show you why. This is Lady May. She's uh, pretty sick. She was just down in Stark, Starkville, Mississippi at um, the Mississippi State University Veterinary Hospital. Um, we don't know what she has yet. They got their suspicions. But uh, Louise was down there picking her up today. We had to leave her overnight. But uh, she'll be here in just a second. She just got home, literally drove into the garage like two minutes before live time. And now she's getting herself a cocktail. Say hi to everybody, Lady May. I'm going to see if I can uh, see. Oh, okay. So everybody can hear, I guess. I'm seeing some comments. Here comes Louise. <laughs> Not quite ready. Oh, you're not quite ready? Not quite. Let's keep on talking. Keep on talking, huh? Keep on talking. Keep talking. I'm going to get ready, though. Oh. <laughs> she got her martini glass. My martini. I told the vet student that I was going to have a martini for her when I got back. Madison? Madison. And so... I am going to do that if I can find my equipment. Do you want some ice? I got ice. Okay. I just can't. I'm going to wash my hands. I can't find the lid. Um, I'm going to get a little. I just can't find the lid for this thing. This has two parts to it. Have you seen any of these lately, Jeff? Nope. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Do you want some of your um, olive stuff? My olive stuff, yes. Olive stuff. Um, yes. It is. Dirty Sue. Dirty Sue. And let me see if there's any olives. And if there's not any olives, um, which there may not be, if there's not any olives, then let's get um, pickles. We'll do pickles. Okay. I don't know. Somebody's saying nothing so far. So I don't know. What? Are we live? Or, oh, I guess we are. Okay. Because I just saw John saying nothing so far, meaning like we're late, which we're never late. Whoa, whoa. Oh my, whoa. Olives go bad, guys. Olives in the refrigerator get moldy, guys. They, I mean, that was a scary, scary kitchen um, refrigeration story there. So we're doing pickles. Okay, let me see if I have a thing of olives real quick, just before we get pickles. Um, go ahead and talk, talk to you all. All right, let me go see who's... Have vermouth, though, I don't think. But I do I do have a spare. Who knew olives went bad? Hello, Peg. Girl, AKA Charlie. Either Charlie or Charlie, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Kathy. Hey Kathy. Hey Tikio. All right. What's Philip Goulet, do this? hi. Um, and John, of course. Yes, John. Craig Betts. Okay. Hello. Let's see. Michelle Morningstar. Hello. Robin is in here. Robin Watchman. Angela. Oops. Mayor. Hello, Mayor. Jessica Gibson. Hi. Raven. I don't know if that's the same Raven, though, that we've seen. Yeah. Oh, no, not the same. No. It's a different raven. Well, I think no it's raven. different, unless, unless um, they change their name, maybe. Yeah. You know, like change their thing. Lady! Norma, Andy Firecone, hello. Denise Carr, hello. Barbara Eveland. Um, Alaska Family Kitchen, you know. Oh, sorry. sorry. Jen. I'm going to turn the audio off real quick. Okay, she's breaking the box. Um, okay. 
I probably broke it up too much. Sue Moore from Tucson, Arizona. Hello. Juliet, you haven't missed anything. Um, we will tell your wife she's late, but we're, uh, we got a good one tonight. Good food, anyway. I know mean, it's going to be a good cook. I'm sure it will be. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I got a lot going through my brain. So. Hi, George. I got to put on my nursing cap, which I haven't done in a very, very long time. So uh, it's going to be interesting. Um, Impacted is here from Calgary, Alberta. Hello. Um, Angela's from Vancouver, 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 Canada. Look at this huge bottle. Hi, Bonnie. Jeff, I asked him to buy me a bottle of Tito's thinking he would get a, you know, a normal size bottle. Well, he said, well, I think it will last you forever. I'm like, yeah, yeah, a long, a long time. That's right. That's right. Nothing wrong with having a bottle of vodka. <laughs> I'm just, I don't usually buy a half captain, but it's good. Hello, Lisa from Phoenix. Jenny, or maybe it's out. not good, depending on how you look at it. Cat Hardy, Cadillac, and Green. It's so cold. Sharon Hatton. Danny Gominski, Barbara Wolf, a lot of rec oh, names I recognize. Oh, Rosalind Morrissey. Oh, cool. Kathy says hi, Louisa Jeff. Hello, hello. Mary Martin. Barbara says, do pickles go bad? I don't think they do. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I, I think maybe I might eat them more frequently. I messed this up. Okay, there we go. Um, I might eat them more frequently than olives because those olives had a mold this thick on the top. It was really quite nasty. I don't think you've been in that olive jar in a year. Or more. But I just didn't think olives would go bad. Oh, but you know what? Were they blue cheese? They might have had something in them, guys. So They might have been. They might have been blue cheese. Oh, I didn't hardly leave any room. I like extra dirty, and I didn't leave any room for yeah, it. Yeah, they're stuck with pimento. They're blue cheese now. <laughs> they are. They're penicillin. Yes. <laughs> well. Bon bye. Let's, says hello. I'm going to look in here and make sure hello, there's no. Lori. Nope, that smells fine. Well. Melody, hi. We'll see what happens. Okay. That is the same raven. Hi, raven. Oh, it is. Okay. I just changed it. Okay. Okay. Um, What's wrong with Marles Lynn, Barbara Thurston? I hope I didn't miss anybody. I'm trying to get everybody. Kimberly Shell, if I didn't get you from Mount Joy, PA. Hi, little baby, rubbing up against me. Hi, you girl. miss mommy. You were in the hospital all night. Oh, in the hospital. Bonnie says that's how she buys tea. Well, hey. <laughs> I'm feeling so you're not alone in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got my okay. Michelle yeah. Reed says hi. Hi, guys. Uh, so I'm sorry I couldn't do this personally. Hi, Jolene. I did just see you pop in. Um, I I'm sorry that I did not do that personally and I had gave, gave it over to Jeff. But um, like I think he said he told you guys already that I just got back from Mississippi State um, vet clinic student what do you call it i, I need to it's know like a teaching hospital. it's a teaching hospital for animals right and but it's associated with mississippi state university but it's a fully functional better than most um it, veterinary hospital. yes it's very wonderful especially where we we live in tennessee which is in um you know, very rural. Uh, and and so sometimes the focus of treatment is a little bit different when you're in a rural area versus a bigger city. You know, like in, in when we lived in Maryland, we could have found vets that could do all kinds of different things and different testing just by driving, you know, five minutes. But in the country, it's a little bit different. So when we needed to get some answers and try to get Lady May to feel a little bit better, we needed to go yesterday to the um, to the vet hospital, the teaching hospital, and um, we ended up leaving her there overnight. I'm not going to get into a whole lot of details right now about what happened. I'm I'm fully willing to talk to you guys about it and everything. But I would like to get the Tasty Tuesday going so that we can kind of move this along because I could probably sit here and talk for 30 minutes about things. So I think what I'll do is like when we're when it's cooking, 
you know, then I'll fill you in. But anyway, um, you know, she's back home and it wasn't great news. And we, we have some decisions to make and we have some, I'm, I'm an optimistic kind of person. So I, I'm going to, I'm going to try to work some nursing magic, but we'll see what happens anyway. Um, all right. So dirty martini time. I says take a sip. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do right now. So I want to toast number one to you guys. Thank you so much. Um, I think if it wasn't for having, uh, you guys here and knowing this is, you know, I need to do this because I could have canceled, right? Definitely. Um, and everybody would have understood, but as much as I hope I can support you through all your cooking endeavors and, and different things that come up, um, you guys are a huge support to me and I want to be here with you tonight. So cheers to all of you as I spill it, which this is a very small martini glass. Um, and also cheers to Mississippi State and especially Madison, who was a fantastic student for Lady May. She was just top-notch wonderful. And I'm excited. She's, call her doctor. She'll be a doctor. She's, she's going to graduate in May. And I'm super excited to hear that she is headed to Nashville, which is actually closer than um, Mississippi be state for us. So I may, really, but... it's in half an hour from our house. Nashville. Yeah. It's an hour it's and a half. Two and a half hours. Oh, and it's two hours to Mississippi state. But... Well, anyway, we'll see. We'll but anyway, I told her I'd be looking her up in a while. I, I was, why did I, Oh, I was thinking Memphis, right? I was thinking Memphis. I'm, I, I don't like um, messy cutting boards. I must put something down right now. Um, in order to enjoy this sip. Okay. <laughs> there we go. I do this at restaurants too. Okay. I really messed this drink up because it should not be spilling all over. All right. Cheers, everyone. Okay. Oh, that's good. All right. Now my cutting board is now completely sanitized and a little olived and that's all good. So let's do it, Jeff. All right. All right. So if you're new to Tasty Tuesday, what happens here is um, we share news about our pets. Yeah, I'm just joking. Jeff brings home ingredients and I have to cook them live. I don't know what they are. And we've been doing a new thing lately where I've been guessing them. So I close my eyes and he gives them to me and I try to guess them. So I'm going to be cooking with whatever he has in his basket and I have to make dinner. And usually I use the Ninja Foodie, but I always reserve the ability to use something else. So it depends on what the ingredients are and what I think the best cooking um, appliance would be for that. But nine times out of ten, the Ninja Foodie works great. Okay. All right. We're going to start we with go. the protein this time. Okay. These are always the hardest because they're like like plastic wrapped. Oh my gosh, you got me lobster? Is that lobster? Mm -hmm. Okay, they're, that's very easy to tell because the ridges. Okay, lobster tail. Mm, nice one, Jeff. What an interesting, I don't think you've ever given me seafood. I gave you tuna one time. Okay, because he is not even a big fan of seafood. Hmm. That's interesting. Is this another protein? Yep. Oh, okay. So we're having steak and lobster. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, that's interesting. I don't know what that was if it wasn't protein. Filet and lobster. Okay. Oh, filet. Oh, fancy, fancy. Okay. Surf and turf. This will be. Surf and turf it is. This will be an interesting one. Ready for the All right, let's do it. All right. Mushrooms. You get those just about every week. I love mushrooms. All right, this is nice. Oh, yeah, how am I going to tell that? Spinach. Okay. I hope you have garlic. I couldn't find any here. Yes, I have garlic. Onion. And I would say it is a yellow onion. Okay, it is yellow onion. Blue cheese. 
I am, I am not that good. Okay, guys. I know my husband very, very well. So based on these ingredients, it's either going to be gorgonzola or blue. And he thinks he doesn't like gorgonzola. So I'm sure it's blue, even though gorgonzola is a little bit milder than blue. I think he got sick off of it once. Is that, is that what happened, Jeff? No, I got um, gorgonzola that tasted really, really bad. And I just okay. Well, you can get blue cheese that tastes really, really <laughs> bad too. I think we just threw some away. What, garlic? No, no potatoes. What am I thinking? Of course you wouldn't be at dinner without potatoes with surf and turf. Okay, this is an interesting one, my friends. Lots of different combinations. No rosemary, I'm surprised. Uh, we have, right, good. I didn't give you rosemary because I just gave it to you last time and I thought it was still... Oh, brown. no. But you can just use... Pet, um, yeah, dry. no picky. All right, so obviously it's a surf and turf. And it's an interesting one because of the timing. Everything cooks a little bit differently. So why don't we rinse these little new potatoes and why don't we give them a little pressure cook while we prep the rest? Because I don't want to do mashed potatoes, but I don't know what I want to do. Honestly, what do I want to do? Everything else is pretty, pretty easy. I like to steam. Uh, Jolene, these are the little baby ones. I don't really know if I want to do that. Um, Mayor, I know what you mean about rosemary tasting like soap, but you just, you've got to be careful with it. You can't put too much and you can use it with, you know, just kind of um, as an accent flavor. So it just kind of is kind of smooth. Um, hi, Joanne. How are you? So we just dumped those right on in there, all whole and everything else, right? We don't need, we don't need anything fancy. Um, and then Jeff, just fill this with some water since we have it here. Um, I'm going to put in just about half a cup of water. So just, so just enough to go under pressure. I don't need these really soppy wet because I do think I'm going to um, probably roast them in some way. I'm not decided quite exactly how yet. All right, so I'm going to go under pressure while we decide... Uh, what we're going to do. So if you wanted these to be fully cooked at pressure cooking, I would probably go about seven to 10 minutes. I want them partially cooked. Um, so I'm going to go five minutes. And I think that's going to give me a good enough texture. I'm not sure if I'm going to smash them or just roast them. Of course, I've got to be on the right setting. Bear with me, my friends, because... My brain isn't totally engaged. Okay. So, I'm surprised you didn't get Brussels sprouts. It was, I was just like, what good vegetable looks good is the first one I saw. So. Yeah, it's just interesting with the blue cheese. I was thinking that we made this, um, what did we call it? We called it kitchen crack. Well, that's what I, I don't remember it having Brussels sprouts in it. It was Brussels sprouts. I, I thought it was. Must or uh, mushrooms and onions and blue cheese. Oh, was it? And butter, lots of butter. And mustard. Mustard and probably cream and or um, and a little cream. But didn't we use? Didn't we put? Didn't we have Brussels sprouts in there? Maybe okay. Well, I'm sprouts. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make that. I am definitely gonna make that. Now, I, I always like to do everything in the Ninja Foodie. So, and I think I can. Oh, baby, oh. little Wady May. Um, yeah, Kat, I thought about Hasselback, but it would, it would like, I'd be here all night, like, trying to get them to go, She'd right? Okay, Should, did everybody get to see her? I think so. There might be some people that did. Don't touch her. I won't touch her. She's not, like, infectious like no, that. No, but she's but still an animal. She's just so cute, though. I love you so much. You're so cute. She's like, I don't know. They drew my blood. They did all kinds of funny things. Sweetest I'm just, cat ever. I'm just glad to be home with my daddy. He, she is a daddy's girl. That's for sure. Definitely. Um, and she's, uh, what do you call it, Jeff? With the extra, oh, 
polydactyl. So she's a special little girl. Okay. Um, I do have my grill plate here, Jolene. That's a good idea. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking this through, thinking this through, but I can get things prepped. I, I'm trying to think if I can do this all in one pot. Now, it might not be the quickest way or the most efficient way. It might be easier just to do the vegetables on uh, in a little uh, pan on the stove. The rest can easily be done. Which I usually, I would think I was saying this before, I usually like to steam my lobster. Okay, I always like to steam my lobster. But if I'm gonna cook it with steak, I'm gonna throw it on. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna do it a little differently, so but I'm not gonna expose it to the dry heat, but I'm gonna do a little uh, parchment package wrapped in foil kind of thing. And I've never done it before, so this will be interesting to see if it works. Okay, so I'm cleaning my mushrooms. Jeff, what I think I'm gonna, just for um, just for ease of this, I think I'm gonna make the kitchen crack, which is not even a good word to use, honestly. We need to think of another better word. Um, in, in a pan on the stove. Just because it's going to be easier. All right. I think I do have a pan on the stove. I mean, a pan that will work well. I don't know How big? Is, I kind of didn't want it to be, oh, this will work perfect. You're doing the mushrooms in there? I'm going to do the mushrooms and the onions in here. Butter. I will need butter. There was some back there. You might have moved those ingredients. Okay, yeah. All right, let's get this heated up a little bit. And as soon as I get started with chopping some of these things, I could use the stems. I don't know why I always pull them off, but I always pull them off. Did you see Robin asked about that? Um, you don't use the well, I don't know. No, not really. Just in a habit of pulling them off. Like, see how this one's half? I can cut it off, but I, I don't know. I just, I almost always remove them. These mushrooms in particular, their stems are so tiny. I can't even trim them without like doing like, surgery. So just easier to pop them out. I don't know. There's no reason. Mushroom stems are fine. You just trim off the top. Hey, Karen. Okay. Pay attention. Lobster and filet or New Year's tradition. Yeah, you're going to learn something. Hopefully, hopefully it turns out well. I mean, you might learn, don't do it this way. <laughs> you are going to learn something one way or another. It might be just nope, nope, nope. Okay. So I'm going to slice these up. Now, I think that they were diced. Do you remember, Jeff, how he made this? It always varied because it either was you or Carrie doing it. it usually they were smaller than a slice, though. Yeah. Maybe, maybe uh, slice cut in half or a dice, I don't know. I think I'm going to do it this way, though. Unless you wanted it more like, do you want it as a side dish or you want it more as a steak topping? Kind of half and half. Like you could... I'm more of a side. I don't want to pour it all over my steak and then be committed to. Okay. So, really yeah, because I messed this up. I haven't made this in years. Yeah, it might be a really, really good filet. You don't want to cover it with mushrooms. Maybe. Okay. So, so I'm going to use slice. Got it. Cat asked, will the chicks eat the stems? It's a good question. If you didn't throw them, did you throw them away? They don't eat them. You tried that? I've tried all kinds of stuff. Our chickens, at least, I don't know about this group. Our chickens don't eat anything that normal chickens eat. They eat red cherry tomatoes, not yellow, not orange. And they prefer when they're a little soft. And they want them soft. They don't want them hard. They don't want to do any work to get into it. So I have, usually have to smash them. Um, there's a couple other things that people said that um, chickens really love. Thinkers were okay with watermelon. I think they did like that. 
but to a certain extent to a certain extent yeah they like they like scrambled or um scrambled eggs they do like an egg cake yeah they do like that tomatoes. and they they love the the grubs and um yeah crickets and stuff. yeah they're just not huge on other things i moved this pan off the heat because i had it heating for a while and i want to melt the butter without burning it and i am going to add in a little bit of olive oil and now that my fingernails are dirty anybody who's joining in late or seeing that like I, my fingernails are dirty it is the mushrooms maybe it's not dirt but it is the mushrooms that happens what my dirty fingernails <laughs> i'm gonna try to clean them a little bit lady may oh baby you want to sit up there that's not a good spot Necessarily. Why is she scratching? She never scratches. Well, she's probably feeling real good because she had a blood transfusion. So she's probably feeling real good. She probably feels better than she's ever felt in her little young life, to be honest with you. After I got her blood work back and I saw how low her blood counts were, I, I just about fell on the floor. I can't even believe that she was doing that, um, that she was like, when I say doing that, what I mean is surviving basically <laughs> that she was still engaged in our house. You know, she was still, I just can't believe she wasn't sleeping constantly. She, her, her anemia was so bad. Um, but anyway, so now she's like, oh, okay, I'm good. I'm good. I feel good. <laughs> I feel real good. So, Yes. Um, actually, you know what, Robin? I do not like adding mushrooms to stock. I have tried that before, and I don't like it. Now, why is my oven... I mean, why is my stove not on still? It just went off. I guess when I moved the thing... I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to slice the onions, too. It's back on now. It'll be fine. Um, yeah, it is. Of course, I have vowed never to... Never to chop onions without my contacts in on camera because it, I will get teary-eyed. But um, it's not affecting me like that right now for some reason. Interesting, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. I didn't really want to do that. What I want to do is put my mushrooms in first. And I want to put them in in such a way that hopefully they will brown, but my pot's not hot enough yet. So I got to wait a minute. I don't know what happened. Is the stove on now? It is. I'm not sure. It's we're getting some sizzling now on the onions. I don't know what happened there. It's weird. It was heating for quite a while. It should be piping hot, but it's really not. So let me let that go up a little bit. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't. I mean, you may like it in stock, Robin, but I, I don't. I've tried that, and it's too earthy of a flavor for me. Um. So, yeah, it's too, too earthy. Okay. Um, Jane, yeah, yeah, sort of, yeah, yeah. We don't have a definitive diagnosis. And uh, it's F, it's F-I-V-L. Uh, um, I, can you grab my phone, babe? I wrote it down. Um, she's not acting sick, Kat, uh, because she's had a blood transfusion. So... Um, oh, Kat, I'm sorry to hear that. Kat's having some, having a little scare with her cat baby. Uh, I want to get these initials right. It's the same thing that you're saying, Jane, but there's, I, I think they've added an initial to it. Um, F E L V, I think is what they're calling it. F L E V. I have not even had time to look it up it's like the uh, feline leukemia i that's what i you know we don't know though for sure okay we don't know um all right so this is really not the time or place for me to talk about the workshop but i'm going to do this real quick for you guys annie and jolene um tomorrow's the q a on wednesday you can look in the workshop the link is there saturday we're just having macarons and tea so it's, it's over on Saturday. We're just having a little party because we made macarons. Okay. Um, all right. So let me get 
back here to what I'm doing. Pot's hot. So I'm going to put in these mushrooms and I'm going to try as much as I can to put them in a single layer. I am not going to take the time to do these in batches, which is ideal, but I think my pan is big enough for me to do almost a single layer. And what this is going to do in, in theory here, hopefully if I don't overcrowd the pan, Julia Roberts will, I mean, Julia Roberts, she's, Julia Childs would tell you, do not overcrowd your mushrooms because if you overcrowd your mushrooms, you steam them, you do not saute them. And so we don't want to overcrowd them because we want them to brown. That develops the flavor. I mean, oh my gosh, the flavor is just amazing. Hi, Miss Vocal. I didn't even know she knew how to meow. Yeah. So Jeff, are you okay? Like, is this still allergies or are you getting a cold? No, it's it's allergies. I don't have allergies today, but I drained so much yesterday that I'm losing my voice. Oh, happens gotcha. Every, okay. Every year. Okay. All right. Because I've been gone. So, um, okay. All right. So, I'm all over the place. It's okay. So this is well, probably under that. pressure. I'm gonna see if she wants to eat. Some did that food. end pressure or that? Yeah, that ended. That ended pressure, right? That was fast. Yeah, it was fast, wasn't it? Yeah. Did it go five minutes? Okay. Good. All right. Um. Jolene, yes, I have. Awesome, awesome movie. Julia and Julia, yes. That's what inspired me to buy a Julia Child's cookbook. The uh, like the thing that she cooked from, the two volumes. And um, that's where I learned about the mushrooms. But honestly, I could not get into her cooking. And I'll tell you why. Uh, she's brilliant, there's no doubt about it. But I spent... Probably two days making her beef bourguignon. Two days peeling pearl onions and not crowding mushrooms and all this stuff. And at the end of the day, it tasted just like my beef stew. So I'm like, yeah, that was a lot of work <laughs> to make something that I could make in a couple hours. But she's brilliant. There's no doubt about that. Okay. I'm going to flip these a little bit and see. Yes, I am getting a little browning. I think they could sit there just a little bit longer. All right, so we'll do this. So we will see now how much water is left. Not that much. Oh, look at that. So, oh. It's okay. Why is my pot Why why is my pot going nuts? I tested it before we before we even came home to make sure it was going to be normal. Ah, uh -huh. that must be the pot because because this one works all the time. That's weird. Well, oh gosh, I hope I'm not going to start getting the pot notice now. All right, I kind of crowded. I rushed. I rushed. I rushed. It's going to be fine. It's gonna be fine, but I rushed. I shouldn't have rushed. Oh well, we'll just let them keep cooking. But yeah, I rushed. I can see that there's too much liquid in the thing. But I'm going to keep going. We're going to put these in. I'm going to season just a little bit more with salt and pepper. And then I'll add the onions in. I'm going to start to caramelize those while I figure out what I'm doing with this rest. Because the rest of this won't take very long. So. Joy says breathe, Louise. Yeah, I am. I, I'm all over the place right now. I didn't even finish cutting my onion. Okay. All right, let's see. Jane V says, I made Julia's steak Diane and it was nothing special. I have it. I, I kind of know what steak Diane is. I'm not exactly sure though. Jeff, can you look it up? Yeah. Because I don't want to, I don't want to misspeak. I like, I can't remember. Steak Diane. It sounds familiar. It's a, it is. It's very familiar. Even my knife skills are a little off. I think I'm just a little tired too. Because a four-hour drive, I'm not using good knife skills, so do not pay attention to me, please, as I cut this onion very unsafely. 
It's pan fried beef steak with a sauce made from the seasoned pan juices. Um, it was originally cooked table side and sometimes flambéed. Flambéed. Okay. Interesting. Do I even season these? I don't think I seasoned the little ones. I thought I would. Okay. Um, all right. Now, let's just think about this quickly. Let's think about this. So these are things going through my head. Do I want to dump this pot? I hate dumping the pot. I hate dumping water out of the pot. I really do. But I think, first of all, do I need to get a new pot? I think I'm going to need a new pot. Can you find me a new one? This is weird. This is very odd. I'm confused. Is that like, um, no, no, it's fine. No, I'm just saying, was that like the one that I always use? I think so, yeah. That's what we call stunt pot. I might have dropped it. Something. It's, and it's not the unit, right? Because that one over there is the one that works. That one over there is the one I thought. I don't know. I've got one that gives me the pot notice, and so I try not to use it. Well, I use it for testing. I don't use it on video. All right. I screwed this up, but it's okay. We're going to be okay. I should have let them brown more, but they now have too much moisture in there, so they're it's not gonna it's not gonna work. It's okay. It's all right. Listen to Julia though on this one. Don't don't crowd your mushrooms. Even if it takes you five hours to saute the mushrooms, they're gonna be the best damn mushrooms you ever had in your life. But we're not doing that today. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt and pepper just to season those onions, but not too much because we've already got salt and pepper on the, on the other things. Okay. The mushrooms. Okay. So now let me take a peek at this steak. Let's see what we got there. We got a salt and pepper that too. Um, yeah, but John, I'm not, I'm not doing anything with water now. That's why I, that's why I said, I don't like usually dumping it, but I'm going into dry heat mode and I just decided that I would dump it because I want these uh, potatoes to really get nice and crunchy while I'm making the beef. And then I'm going to do at the last few minutes, I'm going to put on my little um, thingamabobber. So Jolene asked about the grill grate. Let me see. I have it. Let me see if I can uh, see how I want to work this. Because usually I use the grill grate and I usually preheat it for a long time. I usually use it in the up position and I don't think I can, no, I don't. Oh, I know I, what I use it with. It's been so long. I know how I use it. I use it with the basket legs. So let me see if these fit over the potatoes. I have not decided yet. They'll fit. That'll be fine. I have not decided yet how I want to do this as far as those potatoes go. Like, I don't know if I want to quarter them or keep them whole. Like, do you have a preference, Jeff? No, I was actually going for um, smashed air fry, but whatever you want to do is what I like. Okay, so you want them smashed. Okay, but I'm not going to smash them quite yet because we have to preheat this thing. So let's preheat this and let's go to broil. I'm going to broil because that's the hottest, so I'm going to preheat my pan, my um, grill grate. Um, one of the reasons why I don't cook with the grill grate on camera or do recipes with it is because it is so darn expensive now. I, I, it's crazy crazy expensive and I don't even necessarily think it's worth the, what they're charging for it right now so I keep watching to see if it'll come down in price but as of now it's pretty pricey but it works it works really well which I guess you will see so I'm just going to trim this up a little bit the fat I'm not too worried about, but some of this um, 
connective tissue I like to get off. This is a little bristle down here. It won't be very good. Really, honestly, I should take this whole thing off. But I'm not going to because most people wouldn't do that. All right, let's just take that off. Let's see. I don't like a misshapen um, steak. But there we go. We can just shape it. We'll just reshape it. That's marbling. That's marbling. That's okay. That's fat. Maybe a little bristle in there, but we'll, we'll, we'll leave it alone. Yeah, that's okay. All right. Now let me wash my hands and then I'll get this seasoned up. I could wrap it with some twine. I'm not going to. I don't really fuss that much about it. Uh, see if we're back up. All right. Okay, we're back. I don't know what happened. I get. I don't know what happened. We don't know what happened. It just went weird. Did you hear Jeff cuss? I do want to know that. I'm pretty sure everything went out. When it, yeah, nobody Did it me. all? Nobody heard me say poop. Jeff cussed. I was like, Jeff. <laughs> it's hard sometimes, you know? It's hard sometimes. Technical difficulties are, oh my gosh, one of the most annoying things that you could ever encounter. And when you're live, it's really bad, right? All right, love for truth. Missed the cussing. Okay, so so you're you're off the hook, Jeff. <laughs> we won't get banned. Yes, I'm seasoning twice. I'm so, seasoning with salt twice. So neither George nor I have gotten all that this show. George was saying that he must be doing good because he didn't get you didn't get yelled at. Oh my gosh. George, George is in here. You, George, are here. Our other baby's not here. Um, all right, so we want to do that for 10 minutes. I want to do something with this lobster. And we're going to start, which won't go on right away. I don't even know how to judge the time for this lobster, but because I always steam my lobster. Didn't I wash my hands already? Yeah, but then you got it with salt and pepper. That's okay. But I wash my hands after I pulled with the meat, right? Yeah, I, don't I don't know. If I didn't, I didn't. You know what? If I didn't, I didn't. It's all right. It's going to be not fine. It's going to be fine because it's going to be just fine. It's going to be just fine. All right. So now we've got our lobster. I don't know. Something weird involved. Something strange. Okay. So. I've never done this, guys. I need some food. I have literally never done this. Any other way to see it. I've always seen it all. This is going to be really interesting. I'm not even sure I know how to cut it right now because my brain is so fried right now. 
I do want to cut it open a little bit. Well, people cut it from the top. Maybe you cut it from the bottom and stick them all. I don't remember. See if anybody knows. Don't laugh at me because I really don't know what I'm doing here. Do you know I'm not doing that? I'm not. Um, how do I feel so dumb right now? Literally, I feel. Danny says talk, Cindy says talk. I know, but how do you get it out from the shell to make that pretty presentation? Okay, so Annie says, um, <laughs> pull the lobster. See, when you when I steam them, I eat it differently. So I don't know what in the hell I'm doing. So cut it each side, John, from the top. But you leave. Okay, I got. I got. I got to Google this. Cut it and then spread it a little bit and push the meat up. I'll Google it while you. You Google it because I don't want to mess this up. I want to try to do it right, and um, I the, don't. What am I looking for? How do you? Um, broiled lobsters. Put broiled lobster. I'm not sure. I don't. I'm not. I don't want to do broiled lobster, but I, you know I'll present it the same way. So I, I don't like. I don't like. I don't. I do not like rubber lobster. I do not like it. So I'm not broiling it because any time I've ever had it at any restaurant, no matter how expensive it is, when it's broiled, it is overcooked. I'm not doing that. All right, I gotta get some um, mustard in this little sauce. Hello, hello, kitty. Hello, kitty. You're such a sweet girl. You're such a sweet girl. Lobster tails 101. Okay, lobster tails 101. One tablespoon of mustard. Going into my little. I'll keep the volume down so we don't get a straight. Oh, I have to watch a video? I, I can't do that. I gotta read it. I can't watch a video. Okay, I'll watch a video. Okay, I'll okay. all right, all right. Well, I hate watching videos, believe it or not. Okay, he's going right down the middle, along the top. And he stops right about at the thing. Mm. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, then he spreads it, spreads it apart. Do you clip these? You can do the last one. The last one. I did, one. I did. Yeah, but... you're good. Yeah, you're good. Now spread it apart. Okay. And push the meat from the bottom up through it. That doesn't work. You cut yourself. I'm sorry. Well, I, I'm sorry, but I can't put this down on the... This does not work. Let me show you what I saw him do. Yeah, you do it. Oh, and, it's, and it hurts you. This is not my... This is not how I make lobster my friends. Not how I do it. Here, just you can set it down on that. This sticking on there. I told you. And then you're not supposed to necessarily break the shell. I don't know. I'm not. I think you have to probably cut this too. I guess to push that up through there. That is annoying. I'm not doing it. It's not right. That's not right. We got to come up with a better way, my friends. This is not. This is not okay. This is not okay. It's too cumbersome. It takes too long. It doesn't give a good result. This is a no in my book. This is a no. Shoot. And it gets shells on everything. Oh, I'm getting mad right now. You're seeing me get a little mad. Okay. Filet on. Press down. Broil. Two minutes. While I fight with this thing, now there's shells all in my lobster tail. This is not what I want to do. Lady May, this is not what we're doing. Let's 
This is not what we're doing. This is not what I signed up for. No. Oh my gosh. Give me the, give me the steam lobster any day. So easy. Okay. This looks so bizarre. And then it's going to be stuck down here too. And you got to use your finger. Oh no. This is not right. I did it, but I am not happy about it. And it looks terrible. Ugh. Okay. Hey, that's that way. Let's do a different way. Okay. So this is how you see them served, right? At fancy places, right? Sort of. I'm sure I didn't do that great. Right Let's do the other one the Louise way. Because that way. Mm -mm. All right. You don't hurt yourself this way. At all. A couple people are asking about the siren in the background. That's, that's the foodie. The, the, uh, yep, that's the foodie. Of course, I always cut them when I'm when they're steamed. So this is not easy either. Mm, no. No, that's not working. We're going to make it work. We're going to be fine. So this really sticks. Okay. All right. Neither way works. Because usually, obviously, I steam them first. But we're going we're gonna to see. So how about... Can you stir that for me, honey? Because I'm getting, I'm burning them. You know, I thought, oh gosh, lobster and filet. It's going to be so darn easy. It's not because I should have steamed these instead. No. This is a mess too. No. Their way is better than my way. Ooh, now I got stuff oozing out that I don't want to see right now. Oh my God. Oh Lord, I don't think I'm ever going to eat a lobster again. Good. Do yourself a favor, steam them but in the have, shell. Oh, that's it. Remove the shell and steam them. That's not working either, is it? No, I never remove the shell. I steam them in the shell because the shell protects the meat from overcooking. It gives added flavor. You don't see grossness. It's all. Mm. Oh no. Okay. Look, I grew up eating lobster. So I've eaten my fair share of lobster. I've made my fair share of lobster. This is the worst it's ever been. Whew. Try to say cut the end of the tail off and then put the meat out Oh, that looks so pretty there. Still not easier, but pretty. Okay, oops, I'm overcooking. I'm overcooking. All right, so now we're going to do one quarter of a turn. My steak is falling apart because I didn't twine it up. I never get good grill marks because I don't know how on no matter what surface I'm grilling on because I'm not a griller. Okay, so now. This way, that way. Now. I hope I'm not. I got to put this to the side for a minute. We got to forget about that for a second. Now I've got lobster hands. So I'm just going to put just a little bit of salt. What seasoning do you want? I mean, we don't do a lot of seasoning. We just do butter. Yeah, we don't do a lot of seasoning on our lobster. Um, all right, some butter. I'm going to do some butter. I got to get going or I'm going to mess up my steak and everything else. Okay, so now I'm going to split this a little bit. Oh, see, mine's going to work better for this preparation. Than this other way. Split this. I, I know you probably can't see me. There's not a whole lot I can do. I'll bring it up to the cutting board in just a second. Okay. Sorry, you guys can't see me. Yeah, you got to take both of them because the, I've never cleaned the meat one either. Okay, so what I have here is my way and the recommended or 
normal way. Now I need some aluminum foil, Jeff. So I just split mine on top a little bit, put a little bit of butter, season it with just a little bit of salt. And then this one, I did the same thing. But this one, you get the whole lobster tail. I could have pulled this out and put it all on top. I mean, I'm not saying that mine's prettier because I did this one correctly. I probably didn't do this one correctly. In the future, I'm going to steam them. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> all right. Now. <coughs> <clears throat> Hey, we need to do lettuce. I mean, not uh, lettuce. We need to do spinach. Why not do the spinach at the same... Okay, I know what I'll do. I got it. I got it. We got to do the spinach, so why not do them at the same time, but different packets? All right, so that's one packet. It wasn't quite enough... Um, foil, babe. I need a big piece of foil. And I would not ordinarily do this, but I'm feeling very flustered right now. I would ordinarily probably, well, maybe I would use water with this. Anyway, put a little bit of water into the aluminum foil because I want it to be steamed. Even though I did it that way preparing. I still want it steamed. All right. I'm overcooking my steak. So I'm messing this all up. But you know what? Oh, I got some decent grill marks for once in my life. All right. Um, how am I going to do this? This is not working out because you know what? I have not thought this through. My brain is not here. So I hope you guys forgive me. But my brain is just not here right now. Um, maybe we'll have dinner. Maybe we won't. I don't know. But I'm, I'm lost now because I screwed up the potatoes, too. I didn't even look at them. All right. It's okay. We're all right. Okay. So we're going to get this back on, and I need to add some blue cheese. <sighs> all right. Some major, major blue cheese. It is like, um, yeah, Robin, life does take over. I don't want my steak to be overcooked. So we're not, we're not, I, I didn't do this well. I'm just going to be the first to tell you because I'm overcooking my steak. I put it off too soon. Underestimating the time it was going to take me to prep those lobster tail things. Let's see. Okay, we're at 1.30. We're, we're done with the steak. So the steak needs to come out. Looks pretty good. All right. But the lobster's not going to be near done yet. The spinach hasn't gone on. How am I going to get this together? Did you get me a big piece of foil? Yes. Okay. Triple wash, ready to eat. Sounds good. A little or a lot of butter never hurts spinach. All right, I'm going to put some salt and pepper on here in the back. I don't have pepper yet. Thanks, Jeff. Pepper, salt. You need any water in there? Yeah, I'm going to need water in here. Mm -hmm. oh, there's some water right here. Perfect. Not too much, but enough to create some skin. Smells good, but I think it's that stuff. Doesn't matter. I can smush it, smush it, smush it. Okay. Good enough. Good enough. Good enough. Okay. 
Here we go. Yeah, give the guest a few more martinis. That's right. Dinner's not ready, my friends, because because the cook can't even open up this craziest packaging in a way that's going to make sense. And it's, oh, it's all, all falling apart. It's all it? wet. We better give this the sniff test. Yeah. There you go. It smells like blue cheese. Okay. This packaging is very odd. I mean, not that it's wrapped in foil. The fact that the foil is like kind of wet. Mm. That is some ripe blue cheese. Okay. About a quarter of a cup. Ooh, I hope this is good. <laughs> All right. How long has this been in? Well, it's done. How many minutes? John, did you remember to look? You probably, I didn't ask you to look. So why would you remember to look? But I know you, you're so observant. Well, let's take a peek at them. Yeah. Oh, they kind of smell good. They might be almost done. That's good news. No. Oh, really what I should have done, my friends here, is move this and moved this. Now that I'm done with the steak. This is a very like cumbersome material, so it obviously would not get done this way in real life. Okay. Now we will smash these real quick. Because that is what my hubby wants. What? Oh yeah, I could do that. He's got to break through the skins. At least they started. Oh, that works pretty good. Now I think I need butter. Of course you need butter. Woo! Woo! You have another moon temperature butter over there? Um, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I have. Um, let me do this. Boy, this is probably the worst Tasty Tuesday I've ever done. With with like very simple ingredients. Go figure. Here's some butter. Go figure, right? Like, how could these simple ingredients? I know, Annie. I don't know what's going on with this add pot thing. I really don't. All right. We need some butter in there. We need some salt in there. I'm so not prepared right now. Oh, I just need to take a break. Take a, a break and a breath. As people remind me all the time, take a breath. And a break. I think I need a break. I think I'm gonna take a vacation or something. Jeff, you up for a vacation? I'm always up for vacation. <laughs> I think I need to go. Okay, I'm gonna put these back in. Of course, we, we can't quite go right now. Okay. All right. <sighs> Would help if I turned it on a little bit, right? Okay. Why is that sear sauteing? I don't want to sear saute. I'm just gonna keep broiling. We're just going to keep broiling. Okay, hit start. Okay. All right. Can you grab the cream? We're just about done with this. So basically, this is mushrooms, onions, a tablespoon of a Dijon or a spicy brown mustard, usually rosemary, which I could use some dry. That'll be fine. Or thyme. Let's do thyme. I like thyme too. So thyme or rosemary, fresh or dry, doesn't really matter. A little bit of cream. There's some pungent cheese. It is very pungent. And some blue cheese. Four Gordon's all like. So probably about, I don't know, three to four tablespoons of cream to start. And then it just sits here until everything else is done. I haven't even tasted it yet. Maybe I'll let Jeff taste it. He's afraid. I'm a little nervous. All right, let's have Jeff taste it. Okay. Let's see. 
Here you go. Okay. I haven't even tasted it, so I have no idea. Okay. Well, and Jane, she hasn't even been diagnosed yet. That's that's probably the hardest part is not knowing. I'll do this on camera. Okay, do it on camera. It's horrible. It's good. It's not great, though. So what's wrong? It needs a richness. Like beef stock or something. Oh, I didn't put any butter. Mm. Oh, it needs a richness like a beef stock. Something like that. Do you have some beef stock over here? I do. And I think I have some in the refrigerator open already. That's still good. Interesting. So what is it? Too pungent? No, it's just, um, it's just a little richness. No. My, it's not, it's too rich. Oh, it's too rich. It's too rich, which is fine. Um, sniff test. Yeah, it's fine. I know I just use this for a recipe, so I'm good. Um, yeah, it's too rich, honestly. So how would we cut richness with a little tiny bit of vinegar? Will you grab me some balsamic vinegar, please? All right, I know that the these things are done. Which ones are they? This one. Okay. Lobster's done. Potatoes are getting there. Spinach is fine. We can pull that out and let it finish cooking in the packet. Take this out. Ow! But don't burn yourself. And then we'll just finish smashing these potatoes. You know, broiling them up a little bit. So we will be ready to eat in two minutes. Hit the thing. Stupid pot thing. I don't understand what's going on. I'm a little perturbed about that right now. All right, like a teaspoon. You could use any vinegar you want. I think I actually usually use this red wine vinegar, if I remember correctly, or wine. That would work too. John says it needs a bunch of And it probably does. <laughs> it probably does. <laughs> Nobody eats after us, so yes, I'm double dipping. Step to the side when you taste it so people can see where you're at. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's so good. All right. Let's turn it back on, but just on low. Oh, that's so good. All right, you want to grab plates, and I'll start to plate. Oh, you got them already. Good for you. I planned it. You planned it. That's awesome. Okay, I do not know where any steak knives are. I think they're. I got over. knives and forks. You do? Because wow. we always go running for it. So I think I'd have awesome, to awesome, awesome. I need to clean that up. Well, I mean, we made it through. Right? We made it through. I don't think my, my potatoes. I messed them up. I messed them up. So Mary's telling me to tell them that, tell the appliance that I love it instead of hitting it. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I just need to reposition the pot. I don't know why it's doing that. It's very frustrating though. Okay. All right. So now. We will. So a medium well steak. It is medium well. Hush. Okay. No. No, I might be frazzled, but I think I did okay with the, okay. with the cook. Because I took it out in time. All right, we'll see. I'll cut um, it from the side. I'm going to cut it straight down the center here. Well, it cuts like butter. Oh, it's looking perfect. All right, I don't know. It might be a little over. Oh, well, I would say that's medium rare. That's a medium rare. That's medium rare. So we did good. That's how we like our steak. So that's good. Okay. It looks very tender. Steak done. Now we need to clean this up because you're going to put your plate up here, right? Yeah, let me just rinse it Okay, that. let's just rinse that off then. I'm trying to get some... Maybe I should be air frying these, but... 
I'm not, I didn't do it soon enough. So I'm, uh, that's why I'm not getting the, the charring that I want on these potatoes because I didn't do it soon enough. Okay, I'm going to switch to air fry just for about three minutes. I hate to, I don't like cold food. So I'm a little upset that these potatoes aren't done, but you know, it, it is what it is. Oh my gosh, what is this pot thing doing? That is the most annoying thing in the world. All right, so now we have our lobster. Which I like the way mine looks, and I'm going to use my potato thing. I'm going to give that one to Jeff. Make sure it's cooked. Maybe it's not cooked all the way. It's not cooked all the way. Looks good though. But it's not cooked. Under boil or something? Yeah, I'm gonna stick it right in here. So now Oh, you don't want to rack it down the bottom. Just gonna put it in the bottom. Hmm. We're I'm done with this dinner. We're done here. It's not quite done. I should have looked. Ah. Hey, let's try our steak because let's, let's try the steak. We'll have this in two courses. You got, I don't want to What? Yeah, I have it over here. So you want to put some of the other stuff on and the spinach will be done. You want yours on your steak or on the side? You want to taste the steak. Oh, yeah, I want to put it. I'll put it on the side. Yeah. So no surf and turf exactly. Just because surf, I should have looked. Surf is not up. Surf is not up. That's right. That is right. It is very much real life. Okay. Cheers to you. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good steak. It cut mm. like it was a good steak. And aren't you proud of me? Like, I actually got crisscross yeah. marks. Like, I never get those. I'm going to try this little tough end, which actually looks pretty good, too. Mmm. That is perfectly seasoned. Yep. Could, might be a little on the salty side, but. Mm. That's good. Mm hmm. Well, we know the spinach is going to be good. Well, we don't know. We don't? No. It is good. It is? Okay, good. All right, here we go. Mmm. That's good. Mm. That's good. I need to get another water. Mushrooms. Yeah. The mushroom and onion. Oh my gosh. That is so good. The spinach is perfect because it is not overcooked. I'm going to try something I've never had before. Spiced Coke. That sounds weird. Yeah. What is it spiced with? It's raspberry and it's spiced. Have you seen that before? It's pretty decent. Lobster's done. Oh. Mine fell right back into its shell. Oh, these potatoes are good enough. Plop them down. Where do you want them? Turn this off, right? Yeah. Oh, I forgot about the potatoes. This is a major meal here. Yeah, it is. Major. Okay. All right. So, what did you have so far? Potato. I had. I've had everything except the lobster. Okay. No. This did not work out the way it's intended. Mine like fell back in <laughs> and like reattached to its shell. It's like, no, you're not eating me. So I like Louise's method better, huh? Yeah. At least it stayed oh, separate. How, it looks perfect. We don't have any uh, clarified butter, so we're just going to have to eat it like that. Well, I put butter on it. Yeah, I don't like that method at all. 
I'm not saying it was the right method either. All right, is it chewy? Did I overcook it? I think no, I did. It's like it's like a, a really good. Um, oh, it looks good. What do you call those things? Scallops. Oh. Um, texture wise. Oh, then that means it's really cooked well. Like too too much, or or no, cooked well. Cooked perfectly. Yeah, if it tastes like a good a well cooked scallop, it means it's not rubbery. Not that at means all. it is cooked right here. We'll put some butter on that for you. More butter. Oh darn. More butter. You can never go with too much butter with lobster, right? Okay. Now the potatoes are probably way under seasoned. They could use a tad bit of salt. But yeah. Okay. And butter. You know, you always gotta go with butter. What did George say? Let's find out. George. Oh. No. <laughs> I love you, George. It looks good, but I don't think we'll ever see lobster on this show again. <laughs> we might. We might. Tell I don't know because I'm. I'm like um, seriously mad at this lobster right now. So do you feel oh. challenged or to do it again? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Okay. I will say it is as good. As my steamed lobster is. And I've never said that about anything cooked with dry heat and lobster. But I did put I did put water in there. So I kind of did use a wet cooking method. So I did kind of steam. I just steamed using dry heat. So I did steam, really. But I think there is a way to get this done much more efficiently. Mm. Much. Although I cannot say there was anything difficult about this. Nothing. Um, nothing difficult except my own mindset and not thinking it through timing wise from beginning to end, which is probably where most of the time we all fall a little short when we're planning a dinner that's got multi, um, components to it and they all cook at different times and need a little bit different cooking method in order for the end result to be so delicious that everything tastes good when served and you have it done at the same time, that is like the challenge, right? This can be done. This can be done. I just did not execute it well enough, but man, well, I'm not going to take the whole thing, but I was going to, I'm going to cheers you. Oh, lobster cheers. Lobster cheers, because this is as good. Literally. It might even be better than a steamed lobster. The texture is better than any lobster I've ever had. And I've had I agree with you. It is steamed things. lobster, but there's something about there's something about the texture of this that is like so 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 perfect mm -hmm. because it is absolutely not ever overcooked. Which, which royal is, lobster uh, can always get it always gets rubbery. I don't care how long you broil it or it just always is overcooked to me. Mmm. It's not very often that we sit here and eat the whole entire meal. Um, Once in a while. Very seldom. We usually say goodbye to you guys before, but this is so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, everything's cooked really, really well. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I think you nailed it. Mm-hmm. I think so, too. Mmm. 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 I gotta respond to love for truth. Ooh, all right. oh, do you need to read it again? No, I can see it. Love for truth. Will you pop it up though? Because it's just so true. And I love the way that he put it. Or she put it. I don't know. <laughs> um did you put it up? Yeah. As a, oh, why can't I see it? Did you show it? He oh yeah. Oh, I can't. Oh, okay. I don't know why. Oh, because you have it big. Oh, never mind. Okay. Um, Louise, exactly. I have serious time blindness. And any new dish or meal takes me four times as long as I think it will. Laugh out loud. Yes. Yes. And yes. Somebody just described you to a team. Yes. Yes. And yes. Except I have time uh, blindness in every aspect of my life. You know, I think that I can get to the store and back in 15 minutes and it's going to take me an hour. 
uh, like, that's why I'm always like running from one thing to the other. So <laughs> yeah, I, I'm so time stupid. That's what I would call it. Time stupid for me. Like, first of all, time goes too fast. Mm. It needs to slow down a little bit because I know I had more time five years ago and we've always had a 24 hour day, but so, um, so Carol, just to tell you, it turned out amazing, but the process to get there was ridiculous. Okay. Like nothing I would ever put out as a video. It was ridiculously weird. Um, and I forgot things along the way and didn't take care of the potatoes when I should have, or they would have been done. Nothing was done at the same time. But at the end of the day, we ate really well. That's all that matters. And you guys are here to share in it. So that's all that matters, right? All right, Jeff, what do you want to say? How's your, how was the spice rum? I mean, spice rum. You guys see what's on my mind. Spice Coke? Yeah. It doesn't taste like much anything. Is it gross or it's just? Gross. It's Got a little bit of a raspberry mess. I don't taste any spice. It's nothing that I would crave. All right, here we go. I don't regret tasting it, but I wouldn't crave it. You sure you're not sick? I don't feel sick. Okay. It's losing my voice. Oh. Oh, my God. You've also lost your taste buds. <laughs> um, okay, that is foul. And I'm out there saying it. it is foul. It's disgusting. It tastes like raspberry and cloves, which is a combination that I would never put in Coke. Woo! I don't know. They missed the mark on that one, in my opinion. But I'm sure some people like it. Now, it might be good for a mixed drink because I could think of a few alcoholic beverages that it might pair nicely with. But to take a sip of it, disgusting That'd to me. Okay in rum, but not spice rum, because then you spice on spice. Yeah. Oh, that is you. First of all, I don't drink soda, so the fizz is a bit much for me. But oh gosh, you know I got to go back in for another one. Mm. Why are you going back for something you hate? Because I want to describe it. Mmm, it's like it's it's raspberry forward. Wow, that's horrible. So it is raspberry forward, spice backward. It's all wrong. It's terrible. Okay. Well, there, we have <laughs> there we have it. Oh. Mm. Okay. All right. I know I didn't like hardly respond to any questions. So let's just do a five minute. Does anyone have any questions about? Lady May or the state of my brain because it's not there or anything else. Anything. Um, love for truth. I, I kind of, when I say he, I don't know why. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know why I said he. Um, and I don't blame you for not posting your name. Um, Oh my God, George, clearly this video is not sponsored by Coca-Cola. <laughs> That's right. No, 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 I'm never sponsored. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. If people want me to try their products, I'm willing to try them. But um, obviously that I'll never be sponsored by Coke. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, no, never. <laughs> um, Carol, would the Spice Coke go better with whiskey? It might. You want me to try it? I don't know if I have any whiskey. Uh, you've got some uh, Evan Williams, I think. I don't know. You think so? I thought we did. Um, what about, what's cognac? Oh, don't do that. What's cognac? Don't do it with cognac. I don't know. We bought that for cooking or something. I know, but what is it? Is it like a? <clears throat> it's like a brandy almost. Well, it kind of has a. Kind of has a little whiskey smell. I don't. I don't drink cognac, so I don't really know what it is. But anyway, we're gonna give it a try. 
I'll be honest with you guys. Okay. So, Michelle, my cat has had anemic. No, I can't say it. No, no, no. I'm in. No, I'm in. Um, so, my cat has been anemic for gosh. How many months? Six months? Yeah, yeah well, probably six months. She got her transfusion yesterday. I've never seen her act the way that she's been yeah. today. She's meowing. Yeah. She's climbing up on stuff. She's. Yeah. She's never, I don't think she's ever had this much energy before. Yeah, no, she feels good. So I, um, we knew she was anemic, but then she would have her antibiotics and she would have her prednisone and she would get better to what we thought was better. We thought it was her norm. But after four months of this, every three weeks, her needing to go back in to have more steroids and stuff. I'm like, we need to really figure out what's going on. Um, Kat, she is only 10 months old. She's probably had this since she was a kitten. I, I'm, I'm certain of it, really. Uh, we don't know what it is, but we think it's feline leukemia. That's where it's all looking towards. So it is it is um, hospice time, basically. Her sister from the same litter shows no symptoms. Yeah, no symptoms. But now we have to face, like, what are we going to do? We have to keep them apart. It can be contagious. There's just a lot going on right now. Um and I don't really have any answers. I will have answers probably on um, on Tasty Tuesday. I'll have some answers for you guys. On Tasty. So on um, I did bring my cat to be fixed. She she's been um, she's been spayed. What? I mean Q and A. I'm sorry. Yeah, Q and A. So she has been um, she has been spayed. She's been to the vet. I mean, she's been to the vet a lot, but now we now we're going to a, a like a major place, like a major teaching hospital. So, um, so I, Michelle, I'm sorry to hear that. I've had cats with kidney problems and losing weight, and it's very very tough. Uh, of course, all the cats that I've ever had that have passed away have been older, right? They've lived their years, they've had their good quality of life, they've had their fun. This little girl has never had that, you know? It's just very sad. All right, let's see what it tastes like cuz I I don't want to start I can't crying. I imagine this is going to be good. Oh, well. I think it's going to be like it's going to taste like um cough syrup. Oh. I bet it tastes like um what is that stuff called? Like cool. This is cognac in this Coca-Cola stuff. I don't know, Mr. Long. This is damn good. <laughs> um, well, Jane, there's actually two different kinds of this uh, disease. So um, the, it's not about fighting with this one. Um, what they think she has is something that's trans... Uh, um, God, I'm a nurse and I can't even think. What's when I transmit? Transmitted through saliva, grooming, even litter box stuff. So it's a little bit different. So tastes like <clears throat> tastes like NyQuil to me. Oh, well you need some here. No. <laughs> um to the dogs. No, no, it's actually I thought that was pretty good. I didn't think I don't have any issues with that. That had a balance to it. Like it was balanced. I probably wouldn't like the cognac by itself either, so it doesn't I don't know, I've never had it. So Anyway, all right, guys, I love you. Thanks for hanging out with me. I know this was a little frazzled and very disjointed and a little weird of an episode. I mean, I'm looking at all this thinking, my goodness, but think about it in, let's say an hour, because I know I've talked for 30 minutes between the beginning and the end. In an hour, I mean, this is a, this is a really delicious meal really delicious. Could have been done a lot easier though. So I'll work on that. But I think we now need to do some surf and turf with the potato. I'll, I'll simplify it a little bit. Yeah. So it'll be good. All right, guys. I love you. Thank you so much for hanging out. I'll see you on Tuesday for Tasty Tuesday. I don't even know if I'm going to have a recipe out on Sunday. Let me talk about that real quick. So I don't know if I'm going to have a recipe out on, on Sunday. I don't have anything. And it's just going to be a little bit weird this next couple of days. Um, so I, I just, I just don't know. I mean, I, I may just put a little halt 
on things because I'm going to have to go back and forth to this hospital. It's two hours away. And, um, yeah, so I think like, I think I'll do, I'll do the lives. I'll keep doing the lives, but I think for right now, I'm going to stop the Sunday premieres. I'm going to stop the recipes. I'm not going to stress myself out because this is a little bit much. So I think taking like the month of April off for, from recipe development and just kind of taking a break, taking a break. Um, we'll be fine. I've got tons of recipes, tons of videos. Y'all can watch them and look them up. So I think taking a, the month of April off is going to be a good thing. So I, that's what I'm going to do, but I'm still going to do the lives unless I decide to cancel one or two, then I'll let you know. Um, but as far as recipes and Sundays, I'm just going to take a little break. So I hope that's okay with everybody. Unless I get a hair up my, you know what, and decide to do one, then I might do one because that's who I am. But right now I'm just no expectations. Let's, let's say that. Let's have no expectations of recipes on Sundays or anything like that. We're just going to take it uh, day by day, week by week, right? All right. Love you guys. And I will talk to you soon. I'll see you on Tuesday for Tasty Tuesday. That's for sure. Okay. On Tuesday. For, for q and A. I'm sorry. q and A for q and A. Q and A. My therapy session. I'll see you on Tuesday for my therapy that I don't pay you for. <laughs>